it is always a pleasure for us to spend time to commune with you and to address those questions, those thoughts, those feelings from deep within your hearts. As we have discussed before and on many occasions, this is a momentous time of change upon your planet, not just for the planet itself, but for all those beings that reside on it. There is much phenomena continuing to take place in your world and in the universe around you, within your galaxy. And all of these events do affect you, whether you are aware of this or not. And so in recent periods of time, you have experienced such things as solar flares affecting the sun. And we would ask you to be aware that the energy of this does affect you to varying degrees, depending on your sensitivity. So those of you who are at a stage of what we may call deep sensitivity, which we are aware that you are, and many beings that work with the light are at this time, these events, although they may not appear to affect your planet physically, as many think they do, they do affect you on an energy level. So on a greater level, your sensitivity is going to be in some way not by this activity. And so such things as solar flares and meteorites moving through your skies, they do create energy and you do connect to this energy, you do pick up on it and it will affect you in various ways. And so you may have periods where you may find you feel anxious or depressed or somewhat what you call low for no apparent reason. And so we would ask you to consider that this may be because of the activity around you. All of these events have an electrical spark, so to say, to them. And of course these will affect you. As we have said before, you are all connected to one another and to the planet and to the galaxy in which you reside. And so therefore any event taking place in any part of it affects the whole. As without, as within, as you know, anything that affects you affects the whole of your being. And so how can you help at this time with these events going on around you? We would suggest that you spend more time in your meditations you become aware in a, at a deeper level of the substances that you place within your body. So as you eat and drink, take more care to see how they react within your body. We know that many have allergies and intolerances to various food substances, particularly at this time, and many of you are aware how they affect you. But we would suggest that you make a meditation of your meals of your eating your food or taking your drinks your liquids and as you do this do this slowly and become aware of how that feels within your body as well as enjoying the taste of your food feel how that affects you on an energy level and through doing this you will be able to decide which of those substances to omit maybe just for the time being or for longer periods and which of those substances, those foods, it will be good for you to increase. As you move through this year and the forthcoming years, it is a time to refine yourself, to refine your body, refine your energy. And it's, in a way, it's a sort of fine-tuning, as you say. And it is very important for you to do this at this time, to obtain the best that you can from what is happening around you and so that you can perform at the best level that you can so that you can remain well, your body can be fit and healthy, you can be full of vitality and you can experience the world around you in a much more pleasant way. And so we would ask you to start to do this and maybe keep a record, some sort of journal of those foods you eat and how they are affecting you.
although with many of you that have your allergies and so if you eat such things as dairy products and you may eat such thing as what you call an ice cream and you may experience some sort of blockages in your sinuses afterwards yes this is a strong indication that you should cut down on these particular substances or avoid them but there are always also those items that affect you on a more subtle level and so it is good for you to become aware of this and so also not just think as people do of those foods to avoid because they believe they have allergies or intolerances to them but also those substances that you should ingest more because of the goodness that they are giving you and how they are increasing your sensitivity how they are helping with your energy your energy system we know that you work with energy in your healing practices and in your meditations and this if you like is an extension of this to become aware of how you can improve your health and through experience in this how you can help others and help them to improve themselves This is an ability that you all have and at this time it is important to begin to unfold this ability and to make use of it. Also as you go through your daily lives we know already that you to some extent you are aware of how people that you come into contact affect you and we believe we have discussed this with you in the past. But we would also ask you to become more aware of this and try to bring to you those people who raise your energy not lower it we understand and we can see the importance of when you are in a therapy situation with one of your clients or patients that you can in some way protect yourself from taking on this person's energy and that you cannot avoid this person because it is part of your purpose to be here to work with them and to assist them in their evolution but in your social environment become more aware of those people around you and even those people that you may find what you call friends in some way you may begin to become aware that their energy is something that is not good for you that it affects you and lowers your own energy that it is a drain there are those persons around you that you will come into contact with in your lives inevitably you cannot avoid this entirely but there are those that you will become aware that drain your energy and so if you feel the need to be with these people do this when your energy levels feel higher raise your energy levels before you come into contact with these people and reduce the amount of time that you spend with them these are all exercises for you to begin to understand for you to begin to undertake and to improve your own energy in saying this we are also aware at this time that there is much clearance going on of what we may call debris both from the planet uh, in the energy system in the solar system and from yourselves and from your experiences and with your interchanges with your friends with your families there is much going on much to let go of and again in these situations before you encounter these people we would ask you to make a point of meditating or healing yourself or finding someone to assist you with healing so that you are stronger and you can then cope with these people's negativity and the low energies that they have and that they are often directing towards you and taking your own energy sometimes consciously sometimes unconsciously we are not judging these persons we are not saying that they are bad in any way but it is their attitude of their mind and their energy system that they are low energy and tend to focus on negativity and as you know with your law of abundance what you focus on is what you attract and so we are saying this is an opportunity for you to raise your energy levels to heal yourselves more deeply on a much deeper level and as you encounter other people to in some way protect yourselves from them in all of these exercises the important point of it is awareness and you are becoming more aware and you will have experiences that you become aware of 
much goes on around you, many opportunities arise, but many beings miss these, they are not aware of the synchronicity of events. We would ask you to become more aware and look at these more closely. And sometimes when you experience something bad with or what you see as bad within your life, where other people direct this negative energy towards you, we would ask you to stand back and look at what has happened and say to yourself, what has been good about this? What have I gained? What experience do I gain from this situation, from this happening, from this event? And we can assure you there will always be something to your benefit within this. If you have a continual problem with a person or with people, it can be that what you are doing, though you are trying your best to be positive and to be loving and help in this situation, there is a time when you will realise that it will not work. And the fact that you have been deeply upset in some way or affected and you decide to withdraw from this situation, this is a lesson that at times that you need to do this. The lesson is that you cannot always manage to change things. You cannot change other people, they can only change themselves. So if you do all you can in that loving way and you try to help people, if their energy still saps yours in some way, if you feel this lowness, this uh, almost depression-like state, then it is time to withdraw. And this too can happen with your clients, that the people that you deal with, and so you must find a way of, in a loving way, withdrawing from these people because you are at a point where maybe you are not in a position to help them and they need to turn somewhere else. Never feel that if you cannot help somebody that you have failed. It is not failure. It is a case of the interchange of the energy and the drain on your energy, as we have said, and it is necessary for that person to take their problems or whatever it is they're dealing with to another person who may well be able to help them. But never feel that you have failed at any time. You cannot heal everybody, and you will find that this is so. If you could, it would be a wondrous event and the planet would be healed immediately and there would be no need for you to be here and to have these experiences. But that is not how it works at the deeper levels. Another thing you can do at this time, as well as being with those people that raise your energies, do those things that raise your energies with your meditations, with the music you listen to, find that, that music that enhances your energy that makes you feel better and avoid those things that do not and also go to those places where you can find that the energy is good and this does not have to be on some sort of pilgrimage you can do this in the areas that you reside at this time there are many areas around you even in your own gardens where energy builds up and creates a vortex and within this space which you'll be able to find and tune into and you can sit in this area or stand in this area be around it and that will boost your energy with so many changes taking place on an energy level on the planet at this time and in the galaxy further away it is bound to affect you and sometimes it may seem hard and difficult to cope with but we can say that if you do these things we have suggested, you will find this will lessen the burden on you and you will begin to operate more efficiently. There is much provided on your planet for all beings on this planet to tune into, to connect to, to, to raise their energy levels and to heal themselves. You have your nature, nature has an abundance of healing energy colours from the flowers which you can draw to yourself, the standing against a tree which you know many of you do and to share the energy of the tree and you can do this with the plants and the flowers. Just sitting in a garden or in an area, a forest, wherever this may be, you can enhance your energy. It is all around you and always has been. <laughs> 